Do airplanes have horns like automobiles? Answer is yes, but they are not used to alert anyone as they are in automobiles. Instead, these horns are used as a communication tool and only while they are on the ground. There is a horn the pilots can sound to attract the attention of the ground engineer. So, they can talk on the intercom by wearing a headset. It's not loud enough to have any effect in the air or when the engines are running loudly. Horns, such as the one mentioned above, don't work while the plane is in the air, so the crew and pilots need a separate type of horn in order to get in touch with one another, which is radio communication instead of horns. As we've explained, airplanes don't use horns in air because they have two-way radios instead. Horns are a remarkably poor means of communication. They can indicate nothing more specific than a desire to say something. They usually convey an unhelpful message of hostility, even when this is not the sender's intention. The messages that aircraft operators transmit are highly detailed and enable all other operators and controllers on the ground to cooperate fully so that all can fulfill their intentions safely and efficiently. Besides, a horn communicates to everyone within a specific radius, even persons to whom the information is of no interest. Since aircraft cover many kilometers in a minute, tens of thousands of persons would have to be subject to each pulse. This noise would be intolerable. There would be no selectivity, so communications among flying aircraft, among taxiing aircraft, among ground crews and subdivisions of these classes would all interfere with each other, right? And instead of being on separate channels. So, instead of horns, we can communicate with radio communication channels, okay? Setting up the frequency for ground or for tower for approach or for uh, center for our cruise flights, we can communicate with air traffic controller and other aircraft with the help of these radio channels.